when you're having trouble stopping opponents in the red zone and giving up game deciding touchdowns and two point conversions, if you're looking for a defense, that is the best defense in Madden 24 to run. Relax. I got you. Today's video is on the best defense in Madden 24 to use in the red zone and is dedicated to recent team member Kamaroar77. I know I'm mutilating that name. Thanks for joining Team Smack'em. This video is for you, bro. We will look at two plays that can be used in the red zone to stop the run, the pass, and the QB sneak. One play can be used all over the field and in the red zone from the 20 yard line to about the six. The other is what I use from the five yard line in between that and the goal line. The first play is in the nickel over formation and is the cover four quarters. I audible to this play from the double safety blitz, which brings my safeties down into the box to help out on the run and provide good short pass defense. Both these plays can be found in the playbooks listed on the screen. The other play is in the 3-4 bear formation and the play is the cover three and can be found in the playbooks listed here. To maximize these plays, coaches adjustments should be set up like this. Alignment set to base. Option defense set to conservative and zone defense set to match. Next, player setup. For the nickel over, sub fast safeties in at the linebacker positions and put your strongest and heaviest D lineman at the defensive tackle number one and your second heaviest and strongest D lineman at defensive tackle number two. Across the board, Make sure your fastest and speediest players are on the field. Let's get it. Let's smack them in the face. Now, one important thing is that you want in your audibles, okay? You want this in your audibles. You want cover four quarters in your audibles. We're going to come out in this uh, play right here, this double safety blitz, okay? And we're going to go up against random run plays, okay? Let's do random um, inside run plays for now, and then we'll go outside run plays, all right? So we'll do random run plays. As you see right here, your safeties come into the box, which is going to be good. Once we audible to that cover four quarters, those safeties stay down in the box. Now, this will help with quick passes, uh, definitely with... Uh, the run support because they're not backed up already okay the setup is going to be simple for run defense and pass defense all the setups will be in the description below in the video this is a goal line type run but you'll see that this defense still works great okay what you will do is you'll play underneath you'll play to the inside when you're thinking it's a run you'll pinch your d-line your qb contain your defensive line and then you'll shift your linebackers to the right, okay? Just like that, that's the setup. As you see, everybody's evenly spaced out. I use either the free safety, okay? Or the middle linebacker, okay? So we'll do this. When you use her, you need to pay attention to your run fits. When you do this setup, your run fits will be kind of similar every time. If that ball goes to the left, I need to come down right there. If that ball goes to the right, and I'm using this guy, I need to come down over here, okay? So we'll run this a few times. Okay, ball's going to the right. I need to come down over here and help out. And we're trying to strip that ball too. Real good run defense, guys. We'll run this like three or four times against this defense. Audible to that cover four quarters. Play underneath, play to the inside. Pinch your D-line, QB contain. Shift linebackers to the right, okay? Check my run fits again. Okay, if it goes to the right, I need to hit that gap right there. Okay, what are you doing? What are you doing? Going to the right. 
hit that gap right there, okay? I was not controlling that guy. Something happened. Real easy setup. Audible to that cover four quarters, play underneath, play to the inside, pinch the line, QB contain, shift everybody, shift your linebackers to the right. That's it, guys. Wherever that ball is going, smack it in his face. These are random inside runs, and this is random outside runs, okay? We're still gonna just audible to that cover four quarters, play underneath, play to the inside, pinch the line, QB contain, shift linebackers to the right. Check those run fits. They'll be the same from before. Okay, where's this ball going? Looks like it's a, it's a jet touch pass. Smack it in his face. All right, where are you going? To the right or the left? Where are you going? To the right or the left? Smack you in your face. Nice block shed. Make sure you have fast... Defensive ends, fast, defensive uh, cornerbacks, everything, guys. Fast everything, and you'll do fine. I messed something up. Let's reset. Audible to that cover four. Play underneath. Play to the inside. Pinch. QB contain. Scoot it over. And the setup is in the description below, guys. Look at that. Smacking it. Smacking it. Smacking it. So this is a 3-4 bear defense I use to stop the run plays when they're in the five yard line to the actual goal line. So from five to the actual goal line, this is what I use. I use the 3-4 bear cover three, okay? And I just pinch my defense, I slant my D line in, okay? And I put hard flats on the field. Now I use it a free safety and I just help out on stopping the run, okay? You can QB contain. I only really QB contain when I think they're passing, okay? Pinch that defense, crash that D-line in. Sometimes you gotta do it twice to make sure it registers. And then you can put hard flats on the field. And then you just help support that run. Wherever it's coming, you help support that run. Smack them in their face. I use that guy, the free safety. If you don't use him, make sure you pay attention to your run fits, okay? that ball comes to your lane and you use it somebody else, make sure you go where you're supposed to go. But setup is real simple. Pinch the defense, slant that D-line in, put hard flats on the field, and that's it. That's it, guys. Smack you in your face. Oh, give me that. Oh, give me that. Get up. Get up. Let's go up against random outside runs. Well, this is random outside runs. Same setup, guys. Same setup. Some type of jet touch pass. Huh? Got to get over there a little bit quicker. Same setup, guys. Where you going? Where you going? Where you going, boy? Where you going? Stop calling that jet touch pass. It ain't working. Where are you going? Look at that. Look at that. Okay. Hey, hey, if Pacheco is on steroids, that's not on me, man. He's ruining his life. But when you get hit in the backfield with two defensive linemen, you're supposed to stay in the backfield. But that's neither here nor there, man. We ain't going to say nothing about that. Come on. Come on. Nice run defense, man. Nice run defense. Just... If you're using, like I said before, say for instance, if you're using someone else, make sure you pay attention to your run fit. Mm -hmm. I got blocked at the last minute. That happens. That will happen. Okay. It will happen sometimes. There's nothing you can do about that. A jet touch pass. Let me smack it in his face. Tell me I don't hook you guys up, man. We got QB sneak defense, okay? You're going to come out in this 3-4 bear cover three, and you're going to baseline, okay? 
I know already in coach's adjustment, you have it set to base, but still, baseline. Trust me. Okay. Pinch your D-line, not your defense. Pinch your D-line. Crash or slant your D-line in. Okay. And then watch the magic happen, man. Watch the magic happen. Usually, that quarterback will fumble that ball. Okay. Baseline. Pinch your D-line, crash your D-line in. That's it, guys. That's it. Okay? No matter if they go right or left, you will get them on QB sneak defense. One more time. Baseline. Pinch D-line. Slant D-line in. That's it. And watch the magic happen. Let's get into the past. What the heck? Base line. Crash D line. Pitch D line. Crash D line in. Okay. Sometimes you gotta do that twice sort of register, but back to what I was saying. Let's get into the pass defense, guys. So now we're gonna go up against random passes. I'm gonna show you the pass defense I run once I get to the 20-yard line. You can also run this defense anywhere on the field, okay? The closer you get to the actual goal line. You do things differently, but we're going to go over it real quick. Now, as you see, we come out in that double safety blitz, so safeties come down into the box, and then I look at the formation, okay? I would audible to my cover four quarters, and based on this formation, I have a receiver that tight end is out there near the sideline. I would play underneath, and I would play to the outside, I mean, play to the inside, because I want to make sure if he does any type of slants or in routes, deep in routes, I'm playing to the inside, so I'm between him and the quarterback, okay? Next, I would pinch my D-line, slant my D-line in, and then QB contain. Now, slanting your D-line in keeps that quarterback in that pocket so the middle is not open, okay? Next, you want to scoot your linebackers over to the right, and then you can pass commit. Now, I'm going to use this middle guy right here and just occupy the middle of the field. Anything that comes across my path, I need to guard. If a pass is completed, you need to hit stick it, you know, make sure they don't get any yards, go for strips. But if they do complete passes, the flats are usually the only thing that's going to be open. Play uh, audible to that couple four quarters, play to the inside again. We have receivers out there near that sideline, pierce that D line, crash that D line in, QB contain, scoot those linebackers over to the right, pass commit. Simple, 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 guys. It's hard to pass on this defense. And we went through the run defense. It's easy, too. Okay? As you see, unless they're like Pacheco and they have steroids, it's simple, 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 guys. Okay. Let's see. We're going to play to the inside again. Scoot these guys over. Crash in. And the setup is in the description below, guys. Simple. We know he's passing. Okay. We're playing to the inside. Our guy's in position to make that play. Don't know why he didn't. But hey, sometimes Madden just does you, man. And if they're in a tight formation, we play to the outside. Let's see. We're going up against random defenses now, so we should get one. Make sure you crash that D-line in. Okay. As you see, nothing is open. These little flat routes, you're going to audible, play underneath, play to the inside, pinch that D-line, crash that D-line in, slant it in, scoot these guys over, QB contain, and pass command. Simple, simple, simple. We'll do this, and then we'll move it to the 10-yard line, and we'll see something on the 10-yard line. Oh, come on, man. Drop that. I, was, I thought I was in front of that to pick that off. Uh, okay. All right, this case right here, okay, we still have a. Okay, let's see what's going on. I thought we had a tight formation, but no. Inside. That's what I say. You play to the inside, you get that easy pick, guys. We'll run one more, and then we'll move it to the 10-yard line. All right, let's see. We're going to play to the inside again. 
and we're going up against random passes and the computer is throwing these passes i'm not throwing these passes. boy go down pacheco go down young man no tight formation okay i have to call some other plays to see if we can get a tight formation here inside just like that let's get some tight formations i'll show you a type okay this is a tight formation with a deep post route each of those guys on the end are on post routes going deep and then out towards the sideline i'll show you what i do in that case whenever i have a tight formation i always once i audible is i play underneath and i play to the outside okay next i press I press because they play those routes better with this defense. Then you would do your regular setup, okay? And then now I'll show you. This is what I do when they have more than eight yards to go. They, we sacked them. They're third and 15, or they're at fourth, and they're trying to score a touchdown. So this is what I do, okay? Guard this, guard this. As you see, those out routes are covered, okay? If you press, I'll show you if we don't press, but I'll show you this, how these out routes are covered. You see, it looks like it's open, but if that ball is thrown, we can jump that route. We can jump that route. Also, if this ball is thrown, we can jump this route too, okay? We can jump this route too. So, here is if you don't press. Now we're going to do the same play, do our same setup, play to the outside, and we're not going to press. Okay, we're not pressing right here. Okay, and lock these up. But those post routes, we didn't press. Okay, we didn't press. Look at that. Look at how wide he gets open. Okay, so keep that in mind. If they're running deep routes, if you see them running deep routes, you need to you need to press this defense okay and they'll play it better they'll play it better as long as you lock up these first reads lock this up lock this up look at that look at that they play it much better guys okay for pass defense within the five yard line to the actual goal line we come out in that three four bear real simple setup guys Spread your linebackers, okay? Press your defense. Play to the outside, okay? Pinch your D-line. Crash your D-line in or slant them in. QB contained. I use the middle of the field with this guy. Whoever you use it, make sure you cover your area. And you'll see how this defense basically locks it up. It'll lock it up. It'll lock it up, guys. You go from being just about two yards to go to seven yards to go spread okay play underneath play to the outside crash d line in slant d line in qb contain pass commit when you know they're passing when you think they're passing cover the middle of the field cover the middle of the field smack you in your face patrick mahomes one last time guys spread linebackers Play underneath, play to the outside, pinch D-line, crash D-line in, QB contain, pass commit. Oh, oh yeah, and press, press. Let's hope we can smack them one more time. All right, all right. Yeah. That was something, that was something. You got it, you got it. Spread defense, play underneath, play to the outside. Pinch D line, slant D line in, QB contain, pass commit. Just like that, we got it set up right. Let's smack him in his face one more time. What you doing? What you doing? What you doing? What you doing? There you go, guys. That is the defense. That's the defense, guys. Utilize this to smack your opponents in their face. Team Smack a member K77. I don't want to murder your name again. This video is for you. I hope it helps you dominate defensively in the red zone if you guys are new to the channel 
don't forget to subscribe. Also, smash the like. It really helps my videos out. I know this is a long video, but I hope you guys get something good out of it. And remember, it's your boy Wayne6578. So just relax.